What's up everyone, Captain Blade J 52 here today, and this time I wanted to showcase an issue that isn't part of Star Trek Online, but still has the ability to affect it. Now this is an issue that I suffered with as well for a little bit of time, and has come to my attention recently as being more widespread as well. Now the issue I'm talking about exists primarily with Windows 10. And to my knowledge, I don't believe it's affected Windows 8 much, if at all. And to my knowledge, Windows 7 has never had an issue with this. Now the issue I'm talking about is a built-in memory leak that is present within Windows 10. For those who aren't familiar with what a memory leak is, as a rough explanation, a memory leak is when something causes a computer to use more memory than is necessary. Now, the memory leak in Windows 10 is something that Microsoft is aware of and is working to fix. However, to date, as of my knowledge, there is not a definitive fix out there yet. Now, a memory leak can be caused by several things, such as out-of-date drivers, malware, viruses, a bad application, a bad program, or some form of something such as that. Now, the leak in Windows 10 for most people is caused primarily by two things. The first is the Runtime Broker. Now, Runtime Broker is a Windows process that helps manage permissions on your PC for apps from the Windows Store. Now, it's only supposed to use a few megabytes of memory under normal operating conditions, but in some cases, due to a bad app or other issue, can use up to a gigabyte of RAM or even more. Now the second thing is the NT kernel and system process, which shows up as system and compressed memory and task manager. Now in a nutshell, the kernel is what handles all of the communication between the software and the hardware on your system. It'll always be running, but under normal circumstances shouldn't use up too much memory. Now, its use of memory will be higher at times that you have a lot of stuff running in the background, such as um, defrags, virus scans, indexing, things like that. Now, if it's always running at a very high uh, resource capacity, using up a lot of resources, a lot of RAM, CPU, or even disk activity, then it's something that you're going to want to check into because that is not normal and there very well could be an issue there. Now a program that I like to use to eliminate malware from the equation is called Malwarebytes. Now there is a free version of this as well as a paid version. The paid version is about I think 40 US dollars roughly for a one year license and to me is the best program out there uh, for this sort of thing. Now, another program that I like to use from time to time is the Advanced System Care from iobit. Now, that thing has quite a bit of useful tools to help pinpoint issues, and even if it can't fix the issue itself, it can at least point you in the right direction. Now, we're going to begin by fixing the Runtime Broker, as to me, this is one of the simpler things. And, um... To start off, I'm going to show everybody what I mean about the resource usage. Now, as you can see, my computer is using a lot of CPU and a lot of uh, memory at the moment. This is actually normal for me under conditions like this, that it's using a bit of resources because at the moment, well, I am running Star Trek Online the game, as well as running my recorder and a few other apps and programs in the background. Now, as you can see here, system and compressed memory. It is not supposed to be using this much memory here. So this is just one example of what I mean. Now, if it's running like this all the time, obviously, yes, get it checked out, especially if you're running at idle conditions with very little stuff going. That is definitely something to look into. But um, to begin, we're going to go ahead and... We're going to come down here to our Start menu, we're going to click on that, we're going to go to Settings. Then the first thing we're going to do is, um, under Settings, we're going to go to System, then we're going to go to Notifications and Actions, and then under Notifications, we're going to want to make sure Show Me Tips About Windows is checked off. This is something that eats a lot of resources and doesn't really need to be active. Now you can disable show app notifications, show notifications on lock screen, 
alarms and reminders and stuff like that as well if you want to. I left them on because um, I do use a few apps and whatnot, but otherwise you do not have to leave these as active. Now, once we've done that, we will need to restart our computer at the end of all this for everything to take effect. Now, another thing that can actually cause lag for a lot of people, specifically internet lag, is actually part of how Windows 10 applies updates in some cases. In Windows 10, it can actually use your computer to send updates to other PCs on your network and to other computers around the internet. Now, this has the added benefits of speeding up application downloads and different um, updates, but at the same time can eat up quite a bit of your bandwidth. Now to fix this, you're going to go under settings, which is where we are again, and you're going to go this time to update and security. Then you're going to go to Windows Update, and under Windows Update you're going to go to Advanced Options. Then that'll bring you to this screen here, then if you want to not worry about so many updates, you can, you know, check this box off and everything, and not worry about so many products. You can always go back and change that later on. But anyways, continuing on with our internet thing, click on choose how updates are delivered, and then once you get to this screen here, you should see updates from more than one place, and then you're going to want to make sure this is turned off. As you can see here, it explains that when this is turned on, your PC may also send parts of previously downloaded Windows updates and apps to PCs on your local network or PCs on the Internet, depending on what's selected below. Now, I turned it off because, obviously, this eats up a lot of bandwidth and a lot of things that it, it doesn't really need to be there, in my personal opinion. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is something that can be very tricky for novice computer users and is not something that I recommend doing very lightly, which is why I'm going to walk everyone through this. Now, what you're going to do is actually going to involve editing the registry. Now, the registry is where a lot of important values for your computer are actually stored, and it's not something that you want to mess with if you're very inexperienced or don't know what you're uh, doing in there. If you delete the wrong thing or change the wrong thing, it can severely damage or even crash your system. Now, to begin, you're going to pull up the registry editor. You can go down here, click in Windows, and then you would type reg edit, and then you would hit enter to bring it up. Now, I already have it up down here. I just have it memorized. So we're going to go ahead and bring this up. Now, what you're going to be looking for is actually disabling the service. Now, this is to disable the Runtime Broker. Runtime Broker is not a critical service. It doesn't have to be turned on, and as such, it's not going to hurt you to disable it. Now, this one is a bit deceptive because although it's known as Runtime Broker, the name was actually changed to Time Broker in Windows 10. Now, in order to find it, we're going to go to the H key local machine. Then you're going to go to the System folder. Then Control Set 001. Then you're going to go to Services. And then once you're under Services, you're going to scroll down through the list here until you find uh, Time Broker, which should be around here somewhere. Then you're going to go to Time Broker, which is this, and you can scroll over so you can see it a little bit. Now, under Time Broker, this brings up all of the registries that are associated with this. Now, in order to start the process, and everything, this is what this registry thing controls here. We're going to right click on this, then we're going to select modify. Now ordinarily, this number, this value will be set at a 3, signifying that it is manually controlled and manually started. However, we're going to change that 3 to a 4, and then we're going to hit OK. When we change that to a 4, that will signify that Time Broker is to be disabled and cannot start up. 
Then once we've done all this, we're going to close out of our registry editor, we're going to close out of everything, then we just need to restart our computer, and everything should take effect from there. Now, once we've done that, we should see a big time drop in our resource usage, and that should free up a lot of bandwidth as well if you've been having issues with the update thing. And, like I say, these are two of the most common errors, most common things that I see for the memory leak that's been affecting a lot of people. Now, obviously, be sure to check your drivers, check everything else as well, just as a precaution. Although this is the primary thing that is affecting people, it's not the same for everybody. But this should fix the two most common things out there. But anyways, everyone, this has been another video. I hope everyone's found this to be of some use. Feel free to pass it on to your friends, anybody that may be having this issue. Tell them about the programs, all that good stuff, whatever you want to do. And anyways, everyone, this is Captain Blade, J52, signing off.